This is what one of the leading figures in the world of Hauptwerk said about this very software. The Hauptwerk 5 mixer is probably the most tortuous piece of software I have ever met. It is very powerful, but it can hardly be understood by a human being. Throughout the course of these Hauptwerk tutorials, I'm going to show you that it can not only be understood by a human being, but by all human beings. Coming up, we'll take a look at what Hauptwerk is, the minimum equipment required to run it. We'll take a brief look inside the software, my personal top five favorite things about Hauptwerk, and we'll have a look at how much owning Hauptwerk software will cost you over a five year period. Hauptwerk is, in the simplest terms, a piece of software that we install onto a computer, which gives us the ability to play different sample sets using a MIDI keyboard. Hang on, a sample what? Good question and thank you for asking. Sample sets are the different organs which are available for us to play in Hauptwerk. These are real pipe organs from around the world, from English, French, American, German. And to record an organ for Hauptwerk, every single pipe is recorded individually. So when I play an A on this flute, that is an actual recording of that single pipe on that organ. If I add another stop, we are now hearing two separate recordings, one of each individual pipe. Are you with me so far? It's simple, right? Not only does Hauptwerk relay the actual sound of the instrument, but it also gives us an excellent visual representation of how the console looks, feels and sounds. Grasping the basic principle of Hauptwerk is the easy part. Setting it up is where the fun really starts. Wait, now that sounds a bit more scary. Not at all, it's actually really simple. And to demonstrate, I've got this cheap keyboard, a laptop which I paid £30 for, and a pair of headphones. Before we get this really cheap setup ready for Hauptwerk, we actually need to buy Hauptwerk. The most complicated procedure about Hauptwerk, in my view, is deciding how to buy it. At first glance of the pricing page on the Hauptwerk website, it can be a little confusing. Basically, you have two options on how to buy it. In this video, we'll only be looking at the pricing for the advanced version. The differences between the light and the advanced version are on the screen. Option one is buying a perpetual license, which is defined by Google as you pay for the software license up front and you have the right to use it indefinitely. Essentially, you pay for it, you get to keep it. However, this does not include upgrades to major versions in the future. It does include updates to minor versions. So if you're anything like me and you always want to have the latest version, the second option is to buy a perpetual license, but then also pay for the subsequent upgrades as and when they become available. The third option is to embark on a subscription-based model where you pay monthly or annually for as long as you like. The benefits of this model is that all future upgrades are included in the price. Stop paying though and you no longer have access to the software. So which option is best? Right, calculators out. Let's work on the basis of owning Hauptwerk for five years. Option one, simple, $599. Option two, Let's assume there is a major upgrade to Hauptwerk every 12 months, costing around $99 for each iterative upgrade. $995. Option three, subscribing for $329 a year, $1,645. Or $29.99 a month, $1,799.40. For comparison, it will cost you nearly $588 to buy Cubase, nearly $53 per month for the full Adobe suite, nearly $100 per year for the Office 365, and as little as £5.99 to become a Beauty and Sound channel member, or as little as £3 per month to become a patron. Sorry, I had to mention it. I'd personally go for my second option and only upgrade to Hauptwerk if that new version of Hauptwerk contains features relevant to you. Now you've just paid more money than all of this equipment combined, let's get it running. 
So I'll tell you now that this laptop is running on the most basic specifications known to man. But the purpose of this exercise is to show you how basic you can go in terms of equipment. I'm going to load the famous organ in St Anne's Church in Moseley, which is a church in Birmingham here in the UK. It, this organ comes free with Hauptwerk and it's a good example to use. I'm going to leave all settings to their default. In a future video we'll go through the options and all of the quirks. So all I've done to prepare so far is plug this MIDI keyboard into the laptop. Second thing that I'm going to do is simply plug the headphone into the laptop. And yes, you should really have an audio interface, but for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to keep this as minimal as possible. So this really is the first time that I've loaded Hauptwerk on this laptop. When you first load an organ, this is essentially what you'll see. What you see on the screen now is a visual representation of the actual organ in St Anne's Mosley. What we need to do is tell Hauptwerk that this MIDI keyboard here is going to be the keyboard to play the keyboards on the screen. And it's really very simple. Right click on one of the keyboards, auto detect, press the bottom key, press the top key, press return. Honestly guys, it's really straightforward. What I will do in future videos is I will take you through all the options, the menus, some of which are quite straightforward, some of which are very hard actually, very hard to get your head around, but we'll go through it together and we'll work it out together. An important point to make is, even though this organ looks amazing, and it is amazing, it is essentially the same as one of these. Having Hauptwerk is really wonderful, and these are my top five favorite things about having it. Five, you get the Hauptwerk bug. Once you start tinkering, you never stop. Four, the sounds of the organ are customizable. The software allows us to essentially voice an organ to suit our own taste. Three, it completely revolutionizes home practice. No longer do we need to trot out to a cold church in the evening. Two, you get access to organs from all around the world in your own home. Playing Bach on an 18th century Silberman organ is really eye-opening. And number one, it personally allows me to invite world-class organists to experience it, to perform on it, and for me to share that experience with you. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button and be sure to check out my other videos across the Beauty and Sound platform. Let us know in the comments what you would like to see in future Hauptwerk videos. Cheerio. Cheerio! You were brilliant. Cheers. You were all right. What? I'm Richard. No, I'm Richard. I'm Richard. I'm Richard. I'm Richard.